Yo, what's the word? It's your boy 16. If you like the content on this channel, I want to ask you to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell for post notifications. Also, I got a website at www.16shotonvisuals.com. But that's enough of me talking. Let's get to what y'all came to see. What's the word? Let the people know we got on 16 Shot on Visuals. Come jack in and bit, man. Scared out of Jacksville, Floyd. You know what it is. Sit shit, bird shit, mix shit, you know. Oh, um, bro. First thing I want to ask you is about your name. You know, is it a meaning behind it? Or, like, what did you get your name from? I got my name from the trenches, man. That's all I can say, man. It's, it ain't too much to speak on about that shit. I feel you, I feel you. You say you from Jacksonville, right? Yeah. You know, what uh, what part for the people that's outside of the city? I'm from the north side of Jacksonville. That's the most, you know. You know, that's about the north side. That's all you need to know. Yeah, I'll let you know. You been there all your life? Yeah, all my life. You know what I'm saying? 1646 West 41st Street Project, baby. Real deal. All my life. So, you know, how was it coming up in uh in the projects over there? Shit, when I first was growing up, shit, you know how that shit be, nigga, want to play sports, all that shit, nigga be running around in the field playing sports, but once a nigga get older, that shit get, you get to seeing different shit, you know what I'm saying, you get to realizing what's really going on around you, cause when you legit, you just be, you don't really be peeping what's going on, you just think you know what's going on, but you really don't know. So the shorty, the shit basically been going on, but like you was too young to really comprehend or really understand. Yeah, like you don't be comprehending that shit, but the shit going on the whole time. But when you comprehend it, that's what you get to start liking, so you get to fall towards that shit. Yeah. Also, when you, when, when you peep what was going on, you, you kind of like gravitated towards it? You you liked it type shit? Like, at first, you know, at first it started with smoking weed, and then you started smoking weed, you know what I'm saying? Jit, you know how I fuck. Nah, niggas skipping school, all type of shit. And it goes on from now, you know. So coming up, did you have like both of your parents in your life? Oh shit, sort of, kind of. Like, I really had my mom for the most part, though. So you know, what was her reaction once you started doing things like skipping school and and you know changing your lifestyle? You no, know, my dudes gonna get in your way regardless. My dudes, I'm bullshit, man. You know. You know how that shit be. Yeah. So like, did she ever like give you an ultimatum one day? Like, I right, it's either you stay with me or it's the streets type shit. You know, some people parents they get fed up and they just tell you like this is what it is. No, I really wasn't like either. You gonna get it was just like you keep doing that. This is what it's gonna lead to. Like she letting you know like it's either this or that, and you got this choice like. You know what I'm saying? It be shit like that, man. You know what's gonna happen. Yeah. She already witnessed it. You know what I'm saying? She, OG. So you know, do you have any regrets with some of the decisions you made coming up, as far as like the street shit? Shit, it's a lot of regrets, nigga. That shit be crazy, but you know how that shit go. When shit happen, you go to regret and shit. But before it happen, you ain't really give a fuck at all. Yeah. You know? So, you know, coming up in an area like that, you know, a rough area, I know it's a lot of struggles, a lot of things you probably went through. Do you got, like, any specific things that you could remember that you went through, any hard times that you got through that you probably thought you weren't going to make through, shit like that? Shit, really, to be honest, well, that shit was looking, man. Shit, niggas ain't really making, niggas ain't really making it in my age out here. That shit be real. Niggas, that shit, death. Back to back, back to back, since a nigga been down there in middle school, so niggas ain't think about it. Niggas yeah. think about dead or in jail by now. So, you know, what What toll does that take on a motherfucker when you when you keep seeing death like that? Like, does it make you feel like it's just a matter of time before you next, or does it make you feel like, all right, I gotta make it out this shit for, for it? It make you feel, sometimes that shit be a nigga be like, man, fuck this shit, man. Fuck all this shit, man. It is what it is, man. Fuck it, I gotta take what come with this shit. And then at the same time, nigga, but I gotta make it out of this shit. Gotta make my people proud. Gotta take care of my family, all that shit. That's what a nigga main goal is, to make it out of the streets. That's the main goal. I'm glad you said that, because it, it seemed like a lot of people, they got this shit fucked up. Like, they, they get an opportunity, they get the chance, and then they just turn to some super street nigga. Like, they, I'm a real street nigga. I ain't no rapper. And it's like, bro, you should want to be the rapper. 
Like, yeah, when they get an opportunity, though, they need to take advantage of that shit for real, though, because, like, your main goal is to make it out the streets, take care of your family, because niggas come from straight struggle, like, real deal. Like, sometimes niggas don't even have food to eat at night, shit like that. Yeah. That's how niggas come from since they were little. So, shit, niggas, man, go. I gotta get my family out of this shit. Like, that should be your main goal is your family, your mama, and your sister, and get them away from this shit. Yeah, I, I don't be understanding people who, who don't be like that. It really be pissing me off, because I be looking at it like, I know I know me, I was the type of nigga I was, all I needed was a chance. The minute mm-hmm. I got a chance, I found something I could do, I took that shit and ran, I let everything go. Like, I don't do shit illegal to put myself in no situation. Besides, like, I ain't gonna talk about that, I'm fighting the case, but like protecting myself type shit, you know? Mm-hmm. But like, some, some people, they, they get that chance, and... They, it's like they get worse or something. Like they got something to prove. I don't know. I kind of look at them like uh, I damn don't say like goofy. It's like you just do your life away, send off type shit. Mm-hmm. See, mm-hmm. with some niggas that shit be different. Like, all right, some niggas get that chance. All right, they do this, get right. Mm. But some of that shit still be deep. Like yeah, sometimes that shit just end a motherfucker. Yeah, you gotta, you know what I'm saying? You gotta do like this shit ain't in yet. Just cause I did this shit ain't over with. It's yeah. still that, you know. Yeah, like, when, once you're in the streets, it don't really matter, like, what happened with your situation. You still going to be in that same situation. But you can make different choices, too. You don't got to go slide no more. You don't got to be here no more, you know? But mm-hmm. some motherfucker, they feel like they, they got to. Mm, I don't know, because shit, some niggas, they just, like, you can't tell me. But some niggas, it just be like, all right. Before you even got this, you was not doing none of that shit at all. Was yeah. never, you know what I'm saying? Some niggas try to, like, fame be getting to niggas' head now. And they, like, the internet run niggas. Like, that's what they live off for. Like, niggas will, niggas will feel like they some shit because the internet got them feeling like that. But forget about the street shit. How you a street nigga, but you got the internet thinking, you know? Yeah. That shit don't be real. Yeah, you know, the, the internet, anybody could be anything type shit. Mm-hmm. Like. Motherfucker that was goofies before, they become somebody. That <laughs> over, over that. So what's your relationship with Fulio? Fulio, that's my blood cousin, but shit, that's more like a brother to me, you know, all, all my that. life. Oh yeah, so y'all, y'all been locked in then? Yeah, been locked in, this ain't no new shit. So do you remember like y'all first song y'all made together? First song we made, shit, I don't even know, I just started rapping, shit, that shit. First song we made, I don't really know, cause I used to just, he used to just tell me to get on this song, like, try it one time, and I'll just get on that shit. Like, we got a song that we never dropped, but, cause I ain't really wanna do that shit, you know? That was some old shit, I don't know. But, let me see. Oh, no, the first song we made it was ESPN Takeoff, I think. It me, him, and my brother Glizz on that bit. That was the first song I ever made. And yo, uh, what about like your actual first song? Was it that song too, or did you have like a solo song? Oh uh, no, nah, that was my my actual first solo song. Was, like a couple years after that, like two, three years after that, like. Uh, did it do well? Like as far as like the uh, the views, shit like that. Yeah, when I dropped it, but I got that bitch got like a hundred k right now. Shit, that good to me. I ain't really give a fuck about it. Yeah, this niggas who dropped a year ago that ain't even got two thousand yet. Yeah, so. that's what I be saying. Like, I don't really. Know. So, you know, where do you see yourself, like, five years from now? Five years, shit. I can't even tell you right now. I got so much shit going on. <laughs> but, like, ideally, like, if... if ideally, you, though, yeah. on some real shit, like, if this shit work out, work out, I see myself, you know what I'm saying? Nice place, you know what I'm saying? My family take care of all that shit. That's all I'm worried about. My family getting took care of all that other shit. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Okay. So even though you just, you, you know, you say you just started shit like that with the music shit, do you feel like you get the support that you deserve from your city or your peers? Like, my city, my city don't fuck with the nigga at all. Like, I get more support from down south than my city, like, on some real shit, like, on some crazy shit. That be the most crazy shit. The city just be having their nuts crossed on them. Everybody gonna hate because you know, they be dead, right? Do it be like some competition shit or like some beef shit or like like I ain't I don't be on no competition. Niggas 
put themselves in competition with a nigga, you know what I'm saying? But niggas don't be getting fucked by that shit. Like, niggas think you competing with them. No, it's never that. No competition. I don't really give a fuck about this shit at all, like, to be honest. Like, this shit basically like a job for you, huh? Yeah, basically. Uh, so what what got you on the music? I know you say you say Fulio was trying to get you to do songs. Is that is that the person that got you to do music? Or yeah. Or is it just a, oh, yeah. Before that, I wasn't really fucking with that shit. So, like, what's some major changes you see, like, within your life once you started rapping, if any? That shit be crazy how people just be knowing me, though, like, <laughs> people be knowing me, I be trying to hide them all type of shit, they still be knowing me, and I be like, what the fuck, random motherfuckers, white, black, any color, I be like, damn, for real, this shit crazy. Shit, it's a good thing. This I knew it was shit. like that before I even started rapping, that's the crazy part, like. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. What was it from, though, like, was your, was your face just hot on some other shit, or just, like, been in videos? Or? It was, like, you know what I'm saying, Six kind of mentioned me and shit, so, like, who the fuck that little nigga and shit like that. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, y'all been buzzing, you know, putting putting Jacksonville on, on the map, though, even though you say, like, motherfuckers not, not really fucking with you like that, like, you still one of the people that's helping putting the city on the map. How does that feel? Shit, I feel good, cause shit, I really come from, you know, I come from the trenches of the shit, like, real deal Jacksonville, like, all these other shit, you know, like, really from the city, for real, like, the real deal, like, not no, I'm moving, you know what I'm saying, you know? So, you know, all the other cities in Florida, like, Miami, Orlando, shit like that, like, are they similar to Jacksonville, or is Jacksonville different from the rest? The whole Florida different, but they the same type shit. Like we be on some different shit, but we on the same type time type shit. Yeah. Basically, like that. Like if you was to see somebody from Miami without talking to them, cause you down there look at them the way they dress and carry themselves, and know they Miami, or it ain't like that. It depends on what type of nigga it is, what yeah. type of hoe it is. What about different areas in Jacksonville itself? Like, is there certain areas that's different from the rest? Cause you know in Chicago, like from the south side and the west side, that's then like two different cities. The way we talk, dress, everything different, but it's the same city. Well, yeah, you can kind of say that shit. Cause niggas be on these separate type of time and shit, but this shit basically the same. You know what I'm saying? Everybody know everybody. So after dropping your first song, did you like have a fan base right away, or did you have to like build up to it? I had like a little fan base, but I built my shit up type shit, like to what a point where I can just, you know, get my own fan base. I don't give a fuck about none of the other shit. That's what I'm focused on, get my own fan base type shit. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, how, how important is the uh, support from the fans? Like, does that keep you going sometimes? Mm, bro, that's the only reason I do this shit. I don't give a fuck about this shit. If you want for them all, do this shit at all, mm, bro. They write me like drop this, drop this, nigga, drop this. You know what I'm saying? I do that. Mm, bro. So you know, with having fans and, and, and a lot of love and shit like that, I know hate come too. Like, do you ever like have plans of like leaving Jacksonville if you haven't already? Oh yeah, hell yeah. yeah. I don't even know if I'm left yet because I'm on Uncle Mama. I'm like, oh yeah. You know? <clears throat> I'll be in and out, you know, because. You know. So the ankle monitor situation, that means like open case type shit? Mm-hmm. All right, we need to go talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I've been I've been seeing a lot of shit, like, as far as, like, headlines, like, just a lot of crazy shit, violent shit. Like, how do you stay safe in your city? So, um, man, I've been doing this shit for a minute, man. I just be, you know, doing me, staying low-key. I don't really be in too much shit, you know? For sure. I don't sure. like that drama shit. So if I was to ask you, like, from the town that you leave the house, get to the location you're going to and make it back, like, what would be the steps you take to make it there and back safely from point A to point B type shit? Man, I, all I do is watch my surroundings at all times. That's all I do shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Basically. But when I'm in the city, like, I be chilling, man. I be low-key police. They aggravate me. Yeah. So what age would you say that you actually got into this shit, like the street shit? 
I'll probably like Damn. I know I was probably like 13, 14, one of them bitches. What, how old you be when you get in the 6th grade? 6? My, my age was different because my birthday was late, so I was always a like, year older than everybody. Like, shit, after 5th grade and that summer hit, nigga was turned, bro. That shit was over. You know, what led to it though? Like, was it shit going on in school, neighborhood shit? You know how niggas just be badass just be fighting and all type of shit, you know what I'm saying? But then shit, that shit got crazy after that. Yeah. I asked you earlier about, you know, if you had any regrets and shit like that. What about the actual, you know, the choice of getting into the streets? Like, is it ever times like you wake up and down there, what's like, motherfucker go back and live like a regular person? Hell yeah, boy. If a nigga tell you they ain't never said that, they lying, boy. Yeah. I swear to God. When a nigga lose that one person, man, and them people get losing niggas like that, man, niggas go, that shit don't be what niggas want no more. Niggas go reminiscing about them old days, all type of shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Niggas be like, damn, I wish I could take it back. Every nigga say that shit. It's crazy, because, you know, I done interview a lot of people, and there's, there's some people I asked who be like, nah, and it be hard to believe them, like, because mm-hmm. I, I just can't picture, like, when you, when you, when you a motherfucker that really know, like, Knee deep in this shit, what, what, come with this shit? Nigga, oh, man, oh, man. Nigga, I can't know see. Yeah. Nigga, know, man. Them certain moments hit, and some, that shit hit you deep, nigga, go to say, damn, dog, I wish I could take all this shit back. Sometimes that shit be out of the blue. Motherfuckers just be cooling out of the blue. Mm-hmm. Then it start crying. But like, at the same time, nigga, be like, fuck that shit. It yeah. Was it. yeah, like, I think the reason people don't like answering that, because I think they gonna take it as, a motherfucker scared or softer, and it ain't even that. It's just being real. You like, hear me, yeah, right? Like, who the fuck want to deal with this shit? The fuck. Like, yeah. it ain't saying you scared or it's you. Like, it's like saying, oh, I ain't scared to go to jail, but who want to go to jail? Yeah. Come on, now. Mm, bro, that's a perfect example, really. Like, I'm going to be getting that shit. So, like, what's some of the craziest things you could say, like, you experienced or seen just, just from being out here type shit? I've been seeing, but I, since elementary school, I've been seeing niggas getting robbed in front of me, shot in front of me, stabbed in front of me, all type of shit. That shit ain't nothing. That shit regular. So seeing that, you know, young and seeing that often, like, did they make it become normal to you? So feel like, I, like, you down there could do a type of shit? I wouldn't say that. It was just like, damn, that shit was regular, like, you know? Yeah. That shit, you know how you get used to shit. At first, a nigga be like, damn. But you legit, so you like, what the fuck going on? But then that shit started to keep happening, keep happening. You like, oh shit, I just gotta adapt to my environment. So like your first time really saying something crazy, like could you could you say like it fucked you up like bad, or was it like some short shit that you got over kind of kind of quick? Like it was some shit like damn, like you know how niggas be on some old shot shit, yeah, like. That shit that was crazy. Like, damn, that shit really happened. Like, this shit, like, I witnessed this shit. Like, you ain't even think you gonna witness some shit like this. You a child. You don't think about that shit like that. Bro. It's crazy because, you know, coming up in the hood, like, it's a lot of bad shit that come with it. But honestly, it's a lot of benefits to seeing all that shit and dealing with that shit. Like, like it, it, it make you strong. Or, or, on some real yeah. shit, being hood smart is one of the best things ever. Yeah. Like, with some real shit, like, I feel like that shit better than books, Mark. Because that shit can get you through some shit a yeah. book can't get you through. Especially, like, even, like, times like now, when the pandemic hit, people who live, like, a regular life, they, was, they, they, they got to going shit. crazy. You, Niggas in the trenches. When you in the trenches, then <laughs> This is an opportunity survive, for me. <laughs> Oh, bro, it's like all the shit niggas been doing, it became easier to do. Like, mm-hmm. all the little finesses and this and that, like, that and niggas could wear masks now, and like, what? It's just regular life, <laughs> yeah. nigga. But people who really had money, they, they went crazy and went broke. Because they, yeah. they, they seen how we live on, how we live on the yeah. day when we was coming up, that shit hitting the ass. It's like, oh, bro. it's like, they came to our world, but we been in this motherfucker, so. So we regular, yeah. we ain't give a fuck. That's one thing I noticed about the pandemic shit. I ain't really seen too many people in the hood really like, was fucked up over that shit. Yeah, if anything, yeah. niggas just tired of wearing masks and, and yeah, everything yeah. closed. That lockdown shit, that's all the nigga tired of. Yeah. How is it out here though? Is it, is it, 
Is it like heavy on the lockdown or is they starting to let up? No, oh, that shit. I don't know. When this shit first started, that shit was on the fuck shit, but now that shit regular, like, they kind of open it back up. They is open out this bitch, though. I ain't gonna cap. That bitch, this bitch, man. So who would you say, like, your uh, top five artists, dead or alive? Like, all the time? Yeah. Like, who I fuck with? Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. God, shit, I can't want shit in that fucking. See, when I was young, like, when I was a jit jit, Lil Wayne was that nigga. Oh, bro. Like, Lil Wayne was that nigga. So I gotta get to Lil Wayne. Shit, who the fuck else, man? Shit, um. Gucci. Shit, I'm a young nigga, so Chief Keef gotta be on that bitch. You know, Chief oh, Keef, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucking. And this is so crazy, because I don't even know cap. My favorite rapper from Chicago, like, is L.A. Capone, though, on some real shit, like. Uh, L.A. was going crazy. Like, I fought with L.A. hard, like, I think I was, like, one of the first niggas in that to be able to listen to L.A. Capone on some real shit. I'm surprised you said that, like, since with me been so far, I don't really even be knowing, like, what motherfuckers up on out here, so I, be, I ain't really never know, like, if motherfuckers really tapped into the... Yeah, like, yeah. I'm some real shit. My era, we grew up on that, you know what I'm saying, that Chiki era, so Chiki, Chiki took over the world, so everybody looking at Chicago now, you know? I was fucked by LA. You know, how was it, like, you know, seeing a motherfucker like that coming See, from... That what this is what people don't know about Chief Keef. Chief Keef was a fucking sixteen year old who did that shit. So yeah. he gave hope to all the jits kids in the hoods everywhere. Yeah. He gave hope to everybody. Like a nigga who really come from that shit, like can do that shit. Like and he thugging with it. Like he ain't no no dick industry yeah. shit. None of that shit. He thugging with it. So like you can see it was real. Yeah. So yeah. a nigga like boy, I can do this shit. Like you know what I'm saying? We can make it out of this shit for real, boy. You know. That's why the whole, that's why this generation so fucked up about Chief Keef, cause yeah. niggas was really in the trenches and seeing a nigga come from out the trenches and be some big ass shit, like, you know? Yeah, that, I still don't understand that shit to this day, like, cause be, before him, like, the people who we had coming out, it was like Twisters and Kanye's, and it's like, yeah. we ain't seen no street niggas doing that shit for real, for real. Like, he was a child with it, like, real yeah. deal, a child, like, nigga 16 year old, you a child. That made me think I could do it on bro. I Man, started shit. rapping my, my whole hood down and started rapping. Man, Everybody shit. started rapping. That boy, Chicky did that shit for real. And then the crazy thing about it, he he created a way for other motherfuckers without even mm-hmm. trying. Even niggas like me, I wouldn't be doing that shit if if it wasn't for a motherfucker like him, like mm-hmm. or a motherfucker like Zach TV before me type shit. Like I don't know. Like once Sosa got hot. Hella other motherfuckers got hot, and that created and then, a, a scene that we could work thing, on. Thing about social, he was on some like, you know, when he got hot, he wasn't on that. You know what I'm saying? He ain't do nothing for clout, all that shit. Yeah. Like he ain't even do interviews like that. So nigga, like, oh, so he on some real, you know? So nigga looking at him like, yeah, real nigga from the trenches. You know? Yeah, he still don't really like. Yeah, so nigga like, oh, yeah, you know? he a nigga like me. He don't give a fuck about that shit. Yeah. So is that somebody? That you uh will work with if the opportunity presented us. Yeah, yeah. We're not gonna work with Chicky. For sure. What's something that would surprise people about you, like if they found out? My age. <laughs> How old are you? If you I'm like, twenty-two. I look young as hell, though. Hell yeah. You got any other like misconceptions, things that people think about you that's not true? Oh, shit, people just think I'm just, you know, I be chilling though. Like, people see me and just think I be on straight fuck shit, but I don't really be on no shit like that. Yeah. I just be cool. I don't know. Do too much, though. Shit, even the people that, like, really do be on bullshit, like, I, well, I can't speak for everybody, but most people who I know that's, like, super turnt and super savage, that everybody knows savage, they not really, they still not bad people. Like, mm-hmm. I'm a fucking thing. It's just be like, it be only reason. be to the people who fuck, if you fuck with me, or, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Give me a reason to be like that, it's, you know? Yeah, but on outside looking in, I'm a fuck only see the 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 bad part, like. Yeah, yeah. like, I hate when people be like, oh, no, boy, you know what I'm saying? Don't do that, like. Yeah. 
So you ever have like have trouble with girls and shit? Like, well, they be like scared to. That's fuck what with I'm you? talking about. Oh, they yeah. be like, oh no, boy, no. <laughs> but I don't really be giving a fuck. But I, I think. Yeah. See, nigga like me, I think every girl creep for some reason. You said every girl what? Creep. creep. Oh yeah. Shit, I damn be feeling the same way. I don't know. So did you did you have like any role models and shit like that coming up? Role models? No, I wouldn't say I had role models. Uh, it was just like even if it wasn't a good role model, you know, some people role model might not be the the role model that it should be. No, nah, like nigga was just really on their own shit. Like nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, see, a nigga role real role models like we were jits. Like a nigga role models was football player because like nigga wanted to play football and shit like that. Like, oh yeah. But but nigga got in the street, nigga went looking up no nigga like nigga. See niggas like nigga. I grew up with, we grew up, we want no no shit like we look up you nigga like you know what I'm saying we our own shit like you know. I don't give a fuck about what you did or what you been did out here, man. That shit don't mean nothing. So, you know, with you having fans and shit like that now, like, do you feel like you're a role model of people or do people ever tell you that? Mm, I know I'm probably a role model of people, but shit, on some old, because they know, like, where a nigga really come from, like, because there's some people, like, that really know you, like, you have people that went to school with you and went to all this shit, so... Some people like, and then yeah. they have little jits that look up to you because they know your people, all type of little shit like that. Like, they're gonna look up to you because they really know where you're coming from and know what y'all you know. So, do you do you ever be like mindful of certain things you might do and say? You know, like, ain't no telling who watching it or how they be influenced, or you feel like that's like the parents' job to, to make sure their kids not doing certain things? Shit. Real shit, only person I be worried about respecting is my mama. I don't give a fuck about respecting nobody else. I'm okay. So is anybody you want to work with? Mm, I used to, but I don't give a fuck with niggas. I don't even want that shit. No, if a nigga want to fuck with me, you know it's that, but you know what I mean? Yeah. I fuck with Florida artists, though, no second Florida artists. They know what they is, you know what I'm talking about. For sure. So, you know, are you working on any, like, mixtapes, albums, singles coming up, anything like that? Yeah, I'm planning on dropping, like, an EP in June. I'm, I'm still going to be dropping videos and shit, you know? Be on the yeah. fan base, so I got to build my catalog up. I only got, like, five real songs out for real. Like, that's some crazy shit. You got a name for the EP yet? Shit, I don't know. I've been switching through so many things. I don't know. That shit be hard as fuck. Like, I be thinking about so much shit. Like, so many names I don't really be doing. Like, that be the hardest part about naming the songs and fucking tape. I swear to God, that be the hardest part. <laughs> bro. It's crazy because it's actually important, too. Like, um, bro, that's, that's the first thing I'm fucking see. The name. So, you know, before we close out, is there anything else you want to bring up? Any messages, shout outs, shit like that? Shit, man. Kojak and this bitch. Y'all know what the fuck going on. Jacksonville, Florida. Y'all check out my shit, you know. Real. Bro, let everybody know how to get over to you on social media. Oh, man, go follow me on Instagram. Kojak666 underscore, man. You know what I'm saying? And it's the same thing on Twitter. Go do that right now. All right, but. Let everybody know who got it with you for the interview. 16 shot of visuals, man. Shout out to my boy from Chicago. You know what it is. Uh, keep on going crazy. <laughs>